Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit all day. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We got something new for you guys. Holzer, are you excited? 100%. Excited? Absolutely. Just quick little intro here for you guys. Um, Holzer and I always talk about wanting to do a little more for hardcore because we're both retarded and we can't play instruments. Not yet, at least. Anywho, we, wanna, we wanted to find a way to use our talent... Which is... Talent. It ain't a talent, It's kind dude. of being retarded on the internet. <laughs> it ain't a talent. It's kind of being retarded on the internet and supporting hardcore the only way that we could really figure it out. And that is to... We're going to take flyers that y'all post on the internet anywhere from San Diego to a little bit past Ventura County. Some of our favorites. So, yeah, our favorites of the month. So right now we're going to cover, what, like five or six shows... Throughout the month of July, we're going to cover them right now. We're going to talk about them, say how we like them, shit like that. What do you think? It's cool. You got anything else to say? I felt like I did this wrong. <laughs> 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 it was better in my head. Why, why do you feel like you did it wrong? I don't know. It was just better in my head when I was thinking about it earlier. But yeah, it's okay. We're retarded. No, no, you're, you're absolutely right. But this is just, uh, it's just something that we think that we can do to contribute to our local yes. scene. Yes, sir. And make, hopefully... A difference. Inform people. Exactly. Of this shit. So when I was thinking Get about... Get you going. When I was thinking about the idea, it's like all I ever do is just share it on my story. But the only people seeing that are the people that actually... Like the only people clicking on it are people that are into hardcore. And that's so niche. You know, and so at least this way, this could be a, a music, and people are like, you know, maybe I will check this band out because they, it sounded cool when they were talking about it. And although it is going to be a little more niche, could it because it is for the people that are viewing it from our podcast and from our area, right? Hopefully, maybe it grows. You know what I'm saying? But it's just another platform. You get exactly. what I'm saying? It's, it's just it's another a, platform. It's another stepping stone to maybe grow hardcore. You're increasing your odds. That's, that's the way I see it. Growing hardcore, it can't be bad, right? You're increasing your odds. But anyway. Gatekeep people, not bands. Remember to that. start off. Shout out to Sergio. July is coming quick. We want to inform the people. Get this out before so you can catch a show. Yes, sir. If this gets to you in time. Yes, sir. Right off the bat, starting off July with the banger of a lineup. Crazy amounts of people on here for just $5 in San Diego, La Jolla, California. Say it again. Can you say it more white this time? What, what, what am I saying here? For our non-Hispanic listeners, can you say that a little more white? For what me, am I saying here? You said La Jolla. La Jolla. Say it a little more white. La Jolla. Yeah, okay. The Shea Cafe, July 6th. $5 for like a shit ton of bands. Five bucks. How often does a show five bucks? Show ain't never <laughs> five bucks. Go out to the show. <laughs> Check out some of these bands, dude. Darsum, 97 Minutes, Ruin. I eat Legends. Bangers, Cold Path. These are all bangers here. Cold Path gonna make me do that gorilla stomp type shit. What's that shit called? You know what I'm talking about. And they get real low and they stomp their feet. And for five dollars, <laughs> can't go wrong with that. July sixth. And you got Kill Floor coming out from the Central Valley. Oh my God. No. Coachella, Coachella Valley. Coachella Valley. Sorry, I forgot. Those guys are sick. And you're going to that show, I correct? I'm going to that show, correct? Are you the, excited? Ho the homie Chris from Cold Path. He keeps chatting me we keep texting or not or dming each other just random shit and I was like, you know i'm gonna go support his ass it'd be cool it's dope first time seeing them huh yeah they come out here they ever been out here i don't think so how'd you how'd you discover him um i met him at armageddon fest was that a rapid bayway bayway oh in la yeah he was like damn this homie mosh hard as fuck great bayway show was right but that same exact day you got another show okay out in long beach two hours away hereditary test dream watch you fall purest bond a year ago today fuck marshall's only apparently hey watch you fall is that type of metalcore that i fucking love dude i love that shit and they only got one drop they only dropped one thing what's that album called 
The this, burden of being. This is an awesome lineup. That lineup's crazy. Monsters only for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real, and hereditary. Love me some hereditary. Dude, Those how did, youngins. How did I not find out about Pierce Bond earlier? Where did they come from? I never seen the ass before. And they come out of nowhere, and I was like, I've been rocking. Choir. I've been posting them forever. Really? I've been posting them. I'm not gonna lie on your stories, I just insta skip. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, same old, same old, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's the same old shit for me. I, I yeah, post the I same old stuff. Usually you tell me about bands or whatever that you're into. You know, Pierce Bond, brother. Oh, Bangers, man, out of San Diego. Yeah, 270 is sick. That's a great song. They know what they're doing for sure. For surely. And a year ago today, new band out of... Um, they're not new. New band, for show. Well, I was looking into them. They're, they, their last music drop was 2020. They don't have any music out. It's coming in August, apparently. Okay, so then whenever I found it on uh, on Spotify, it's completely wrong with the same name? Totally. It's completely wrong. So I just like checked out a whole band for no reason. I, I'm very... I don't know at all what's going on with this band a year ago today, but I'm super <laughs> excited to find out. That sounds like Metalcore to me. <clears throat> this is a Metalcore lineup. That's a, that's a pure Metalcore name. It's a Metalcore lineup with a big bang at the end. <laughs> big slap in your face with hereditary. Doors at 7, Ignorance at 8, Sharp, Be There, or Be s- whatever. I don't know. Question. What does what does ignorance mean? Like, ignorance at 8, like, in a hardcore sense. <laughs> just uh, the way I see it is just kind of like television. No one else around you. You, you are it. Do whatever. You know what I mean? Okay. That's the way I see it. Just... Show show your style. Oh, okay, that too. Yeah, I would say is that the way you see it. Honestly, it sucks that these two shows are on the same day, but it's also cool that we're both going to each show. Yeah, it so is a, at least we get a little experience of both. It is a bummer that they're on the same day. That sucks. Two banger of a lineups because I mean, with the, when I didn't know the <clears throat> dates, I thought, oh, I'll go to both. Sure, why not? But then I saw the dates. Totally not going to both. I mean, you can go to one and then just drive all the way down there to make half of another one. Yeah, see, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not skipping, I'm not skipping on any of this lineup at all here, in Long Beach, and that is actually going to be at Gilmore Records. You were there. There's a lot of shows at Gilmore this month. Yeah. Like every show's there. What do you think about that spot? It's so tiny, brother. You know how many times I like, I like, oh, oh, like that. Every time someone almost hit that goddamn pole. Oh, oh my man. god. That pole is a wrist blaster. Your wrist will get demolished. Dude, imagine hitting that thing and you just break your hand. Yeah. You thought it was someone's face and you're just like, backswing, boom, hit the pole. Crazy. See? I mean, risk takers, heart breakers, baby. We are here doing that. <laughs> <laughs> the next show, uh, I think it's at the midnight hour, right? 100%, yes. The midnight, midnight hour. hour. San Fernando Valley. That's that redneck. That's that redneck mosh today, baby. Or July 10th, I mean, not today. That's July. that redneck mosh. They what? got big ass truck and ingrown for real. Is that big potato? Idaho. <laughs> they got potatoes, right? Yeah, Boise, Idaho. That's where they're That's from. That's the potato state? Yes. Idaho. From what? So I saw like a little interview about ingrown, and they're saying that the Boise scene is crazy. Is it really? And every show is free. Every show is free in Idaho. So. He describes it as all the homies just performing for the homies for fun. So it's just one big party. All the time. That sounds awesome. That does sound awesome. So they're just doing it for the vibes. Well, obviously, everybody's just doing it for the vibes, but yeah, cause you, they're really I, just doing it for the vibes. I don't think you expect to make any money in hardcore, like, super big. Right, right. Sadly. And then out there, they're already living buck wild anyways. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I love it, baby. No, I think that's cool. It's like all free shows in Idaho. It's fucking it, sick. It is badass, one hundred percent. You don't see that often. Nope. You got stuff on site that's squealing. Human garbage, circle pit masters. Everyone Ruin knows that. big ass truck, man. Banger lineup. Banger lineup. So looking at the list, we know that they're opinion already. But do you think big ass truck is too low? I think Big Ass Truck is exactly where they need to be. <laughs> because the, the Ruin guys seem to think otherwise. Just my opinion. Hey, Ruin's sick as fuck. Everybody on this lineup is sick as fuck. You know, and it's it's dope to see... All the homies love snuffed. It's dope to see Ingrown in, in, in town. You know, a band from another state. Totally. Traveling all the way out here. It's sick. We need more of that. Buy their merch. Get out here, Buy baby. What else we got? 
Cruelty. Speak about traveling all the way out here, baby. God, God damn. damn. They God traveled damn. over oceans, overseas. <laughs> Woo. First class. They, they got 10,000 monthly listeners, and I wonder how big, like, the hardcore scene is out there. In Japan. Yeah, because 10,000 is, like, a lot, you know, to me, at least, for hardcore. <clears throat> what do you think? So you said what again? I'm sorry? They got 10,000 listeners. 10,000 listeners. Is that a lot for Japan? Personally, Japan is very populated. Is that a lot for Japan? I wouldn't say so. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think Do we know of any other hard, small. J- Japanese hardcore bands? Um, I don't, personally. So you think they're the biggest one? Hardcore band? Japan. Japanese. I would say so. So then maybe that is a lot of listeners. For but, Japanese hardcore. Okay. Yes, I would say so, yeah. I mean, if they're traveling out to to uh, the U.S. to play Sound and Fury, I would say they're pretty big. Yeah. I think any band that plays Sound and Fury is relatively big. I love that. It is. It's awesome. I love that. Within the scene, at least. Totally. You know? But not only do you have Cruelty, you got Snuffed on Sight again. You got Mongrel, Hometown Heroes, San Diego. San Diego. The li- the Goats. Oh, it's a lot of San Diego. Are they are they playing in San Diego? They are playing in San Diego at the Brick by Brick. Oh, okay. Then you got p- more Potato Mosh over here, Ingrown. <laughs> Holy, Holy Death. Death. Hereditary and Abstain. Oh. Two San Diego legends right there. Abstain is so good, bro. One straight edge, one not. But both beautiful. That's July 11th, 2024. You jump ahead. Brick by brick in San Diego. Jump ahead a few days. 21 ago. plus, unfortunately. Hate that. Hate that. Why? 21 plus. You want all ages, man. Horrendous Trinity couldn't even play the show. They can, you can't even <laughs> play the show. What are you doing here? You're going to miss one of the best bands on your lineup. Just because you can't get in? That's fucked up. Bullshit. Bullshit. Don't you think? Yeah. That's just what I think. They did the Groove Masters for sure. Groove Masters. They make me want to dance. Groovy. How's it like? I've never seen them. What's it like when when you're there? Everyone dancing? Uh, I'm dancing for show. I don't know about everybody else. But, I mean, they just get you going. They're kind of like... Totally. Bouncy. That's that bouncy music. Yeah, yeah, dude. Makes you want to kick your stepdad in the nuts. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) (laughs) The Trap House final show in Apple Valley, July 26th. I just found out about this one. You just showed me this This one. is a banger lineup. This is a banger lineup. Banger lineup. Now you got this in Apple Valley. Now this is a, this is a drive here for me, at least. So it's there's Friday a band the on there. There's a band on there. I didn't get a chance to listen to them yet, sadly. They have, they have a SoundCloud link. I like that. It's Techno Hardcore. And the name is Dance of the Seventh Crow. That's fire. It's a fire ass name, it, huh? That's fire. That's gotta be some metalcore shit for sure. Any long name like that, I always just picture metalcore. Electro. You said techno. Techno hardcore. Techno hardcore. Okay, and then I you can't got, even imagine that. Where's Lockslip from? Where are they from? They only have one. Like, I don't, is it EP? EP? They have one EP out. I'm not. I'm not too sure where they're from, but I saw them in Wash for Youth. Sick. They were badass. They were, yeah, I know. They're fucking sick. Then you got Ishiki. The Goats for Sholi. Shout out Abel. And then you got all IE. The rest is IE, basically. God awful. Smoked. Is Ishiki technically IE or were they OC? What's that? 100% Inland Empire Heavy. See? That's what it is, baby. So it's like all, it's all IE. In Shout Bayden out. Apple Valley. That's awesome. What's they need to spread everywhere. IE's like... They're kind of popping right now. And so is San Diego for sure. What what sit like what area in hardcore do you think is the most popping right Honestly, now? Honestly, dude, just from my perspective, I think it's uh the 805. Oh, Ventura. Yeah. Although I don't really get out there too much, um I would really like to get out there more cuz that 805 scene is I think crazy right now. And and I I'm also biased because I, bare minimum, right? I, I love bare minimum. Uh, That's the best 805 band out there, in my opinion. Someone just called a cap on you right there. But that's that's what I think. What about you? Where's Torino from? 805. They're not 818. Oxnard. It's like the same thing, right? No, 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 no. no. 805 and 818. That's Oxnard, 805, and 818 is the, the Valley. Okay. The Valley Beyond. Um, Yeah, Torino. They're fucking sick. 
And all the shows out there and everything, they look like they're cracking. Tra- Trade is like not touring right now or something? What's going on? They just wait for Saturday? Oh, going? I don't know. I don't know. I've only seen them twice, and it's like, I didn't appreciate it. I didn't appreciate it enough. Oh, what? We'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. Yeah. <laughs> but then. The day later. Saturday after that, July the 27th. The Gilmore, the freaking pole spot. Inland Empire invades Long Beach. Hell yeah. Got another uh, IE headliner here. We've got awful big ass truck with support from um, Affliction, 805, Oxnard Youngins. Love those dudes. Hell yeah. Fading Fast and Serenity. Serenity. Yep. This is at Gilmore Records again. Yep. The Wrist Blaster, Hammer Master. <laughs> it's a dope spot. Serenity is dope too. They're really dope. They're from San Diego. San Diego's popping, bro. San Diego is popping. It is popping. But, you know, IE is popping as well. And this is, I'm interested. I'm interested to see Gilmore uh, as far as big ass truck. Big ass truck. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> what is going on hey, with that? That show in San Diego they just had looked awesome. It looked awesome. 100%. The hold it down fest. Yes, it looked crazy, and they held it down for real. They held it down for real, for real, for real, for real. But Gilmore is significantly smaller, although that's what it seems like. Uh, I would say so. One hundred percent, right? <laughs> and um, I'm just very curious to see what that's like. It's gonna be fun. So, for twenty dollars cash only, make it out there. That's gonna be sick at the Gilmore. And then uh, I think. I think that's it. Sound of Fury. Okay, hey, that whole expenses sometimes. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, day two is so much better. Saturday, Sunday, July thirteenth, July fourteenth. In my opinion, day two is way better. Sunday's better, huh? You think? See, but see, but look at day one. At the bottom, they got Scarab, Tsunami, Twitching Tongues, Weekend Nachos, Word of Pleasure, and Zulu. At the bottom, that's fire. Ah, oh, and they got Drug Church. You know, I love me some drug church for real, for real. Oh, I know you. That I think that's something more like nostalgic. You think? It was more like that feeling I had when I saw them play at LA. I felt like connected to them. Yes, yes. Okay, that's what I meant to say. Yes. Honestly, day two blows me out of the water. God. Okay, Big boy so. Does Madre flush water Harns way have heart? Now, Rio, now one for, step closer for Saturday. <laughs> give me some quick. Um, Quick little ones. Give me like three to five that you're looking forward to. Scarab, Saturday. Scarab again. End it. And Drug Church. Can you give me two more? <laughs> uh, Zulu. Twitching Tongues. Definitely got to catch them. Ooh, okay. They're always great to see. Absolutely. 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 I will say we can not just two because Sergio talked big game about it. I ain't listened to him yet. Homie Sergio hooks it up with music for real. 100%. He'll just text me randomly like, hey, bro, check this out. And I will check it out, and it's like, this is awesome. Or it's even like when they when you see somebody post a song on their story, right? Yes. That's a new way of checking it out, because the uh, way I see it is like, I get a lot of my new music from that as well. You know? Have you heard that Brat stuff? I haven't. Wait, the, is that the Charlie XCX one? I have no idea. I just the green? Like, the green? green? Yeah, that's the Charlie XCX one. I have, I Okay. I put it on... I tried to listen to it, um, but I think I no I I couldn't I couldn't do it. It was kind of like the first time you listened to 100 Gex. Yeah. Uh, when I put that on for Can't you. Do it. Yeah, it, it just wasn't flowing for you. So wasn't what about you? For me. For day give, one. Give me give me four bands. For day one, okay, 100. percent Looking forward to Distort. This is going to be their last Sound of Fury as they are disbanding. They are no more. So it's going to be amazing to catch them at a show this big uh-huh. um, it's on their way out, you know. And um, 100% looking forward to Scarab. Those dudes are always with the shits. They always got the energy. They know what they're totally, doing. Totally know what they're doing. One of my favorite vocalists out there. And <laughs> Twitching Tongues, 100% for sure. You always got to catch him. Colin knows exactly what he's doing, man. He's a front man. He's exactly what a front man. Uh, he, he's a stunt man. Yep. You know, he he would be a great wrestler as well. But he's got to get him out there. Very great wrestler. And last but not least, I would probably say day one, demonstration of power. That's a Scottish dance music. 
I never heard of them. Brutal. Love it. Dance, dance, dance. That's all I have to say. Show your power. Demonstrate that shit. All right. Now, what about day two? To day- me, this day two's better. Just, but this is off of like, because it's like my favorite band on there. No, you're 100. <laughs> well, in our opinion, it's better. Yeah, so, like, you're totally right. So, you got right. Big Boy, Desmadre, and then Terrena, and X Weapon X, and C Space Cowboy. Those are like some of my favorite bands. So, those are the ones you're putting on, you're most stoked to see? Really? And by the way, for Bog, I'm getting way the fuck back. I'm not getting that fucking ball pit again. Are you kidding me? What fucker came out of nowhere with two, two goddamn footballs? I almost died. Okay, for one, I'm stoked to see Volcano. Uh, getting that redemption. Yeah, we'll actually catch I didn't him this catch time. him last year. God. It took so, him like two hours to get us in. It was ridiculous. Yeah, that, that logistics was terrible. Step your game up, Sound and Fury. I'm, I'm hoping that changes. Step your pussy game up, for real. So then Terrena, I'm so stoked to see him on the big stage like that, you know? They did play for the children. Opened, and um, glad to see him on a bigger stage for sure. See you, Space Cowboy. Also very excited for them. They be putting in mad work. Good question though. So look at the lineup. Yes. Koyo one step closer. They were LDB, correct? Yes. See Space Cowboy. Who has See Space Cowboy on their on their tour? Nobody else. Stateside. No. Okay. So we're getting a stateside secret set again. That'd nah, be sick, no, dude. Imagine they get them in again. Yeah. They deserve it. Yeah, that'd be sick. That that'd would be, be badass. That'd be fucking awesome. Hey, they and they get to play with Torino. And Torino's already there. They have been killing it. You're Julian's right. already there. That's a good... Uh, He's literally there. And Stateside technically might have to come with CSH Cowboy because they're on the tour, though. Huh. It's like that World of Pain shit coming up. <laughs> Some secret stuff, man. You always like that stuff. Hell right? yeah. Hell yeah. But I like it better when, uh, when I, I see Koyo. They're when fucking I know what's going sick. On. They always bring the energy, bro. Oh, for I didn't sure. see Have Heart. I totally forgot about them. And last but not least, I would probably say most excited for Harm's Way. You like them at the at LDB? Bangers. I love his energy. Dude's a unit. Unit tank. Tank. But yeah. That was basically... That's all the flyers I could find, basically. I'm extremely excited for the month of July. It's going to be a lot of shows. There's a lot of hardcore. It's going to be a lot of tired. It's going to be a lot of sweating. It's it's given it's given bitch right now. It's going to be a lot of sweating. It's going to be a lot of dank sauce. Anyways, just, just like we'll figure these out as we go. They will get better. They'll get better. But this is an introduction. This is like for the people that just like listening to us that aren't into hardcore and maybe want to try to test it out a little bit. Check out the band on the flyer, but also Holzer and I are going to give you our monthly top five based off the last FM app. On Discord. Hey, on Dis- well, I mean, it's the same shit. But basically your top five of the month, this is my top five. So my number five is 100 Demons, OGs, Ruin OC, New Bloods, <coughs> then you got Marauder, Contention, and then at number one, can you guess it? And number one, uh-huh. Death Threat. Yeah. Totally. Then the boys, baby. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right. Over here, my number five, I got Marauder. Fire. Number four, Out for Justice. Okay. Number three, Death Threat. Nice. OG Triple OGs. Number two, Hunter Gex. Wow. They're King crazy. Nine. King Nine. They're crazy. Number one. number one, King Nine, of Good course. King Absolutely. Nine. And, um, yeah, King they're coming is to the OC, bro. Crazy, that's insane. Yeah, I'm loving it right now. All right, well, everyone, this has been. Uh, we don't have a name for it yet. Go to the shows, peace. <laughs>